the next part of my Sony Pictures VHS collection will be my Columbia TriStar VHS collection. Here it is. First day by Evident is City Slickers with Billy Crystal, Daniel Stern, and Bruno Kirby. New line release to Columbia TriStar. And I'm showing you, I will re show it when it comes time to do the TriStar, but to do my new line video collection because it sounds kind of appropriate. <coughs> Printing on here is January 19th, is November 19th, 1992. This tape has preview for Mr. Saturday Night at the beginning. Okay, next one is the Eddie Dukin story with Tyrone Power and Kim Novak. Nice ninety two tape. Uh this has the third Columbia TriStar home video logo in the beginning instead of the first one, which is on the spine. I have yet to tape you have the team I've yet to come across a team that has both the, the first Columbia TriStar video logo both here and on the actual team contents. Uh, this team was printed during the 23rd week of 1994. Next we have A League of Their Own with Gina Davis, Tom Hanks, and Madonna. There's the spine, the other spine, the top, and the back. And this was released in 1993. Of course, directed by Penny Marshall. Printed during the 37th week of 1995. This tape has no previews at the beginning. Since this is the Southrow copy. Next one is Hook with Dustin Hoffman, Robin Williams, Julia Roberts, and Bob Hoskins. This is a case I made myself. It originally came in the Columbia TriStar Winter Team in case. It, we, but I didn't do a very good job of recreating the case, now did I? This is a Sony Picture Summoner Team in reprint from December 18th, 2005. Next tape is Pal Joey from the Columbia Classic Series. And of course, starring Frank Sinatra, Rita Hayworth, and Kim Novak. And this tape is from 199. It says 1989 in the back. By uh, back then, Columbia TriStar was known as RCA Columbia um, Pictures. So I think this is a mid-90s sort of reprint of Pound Joey. Anyway, here it is, in all its glory, and it was printed during the second week of 1995. No previews on this one, either. Next we are on this next team, which is A Few Good Men, with Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, and Demi Moore. This is a pretty good film from Rob Reiner. And produced and co presented by Castle Rock, which is Rob Reiner's company. At least it partly is. It says a day in your code of the. Where is it? 50th day of 1996. And this was printed during the 30th week of that year. No previews on this tape either. As I said. Next, we have a Columbia Classics tape. Um, contrary to what the box says, this does not include the original theatrical trailer. This does not include the original theatrical trailer. In place of that, we have the 75th, we have the Columbia Pictures 75 years lining up screens around the world screen, a, a preview at the beginning.
This was originally released in 1993. Here's the tape. Printed during the 50th week of 1998. Next we have Sleepless in Seattle, which Peter Traffer of Rolling Stones says is the easily the hippest, funkest, and funniest day moving around. This is the 1995 sell-through copy, I believe, of the tape originally issued in 1993. Actually, 1997 one. It has the... Um, well, it's mid-90s sell through copy. It has uh, the rental version would have had the hologram on there. Um, now this has at the beginning a few previews. I think one of them is for the Barbara Streisand collection. Don't know what the others are for though. Forgot what the other ones are for though. Uh, printed during the ninth week of 1999. Okay, we have the 1994 VHS of Mr. Jones next. This is the U.S. rental version. As you can see, because there's a hologram on it. This is the only Columbia TriStar tape I have with the hologram on it. Look at how nice and shiny that one is. This is from Critics' Choice, 7012 East Golf Links in Tucson, Arizona. And that location is currently occupied by a Cuisino Subs restaurant in my area. Or at least when I last checked it was. I'll have to look at it again. This was printed during the 15th week of 1994. This is the sell-through preview list version. The other, the copy I previously showed you of Mr. Jones had previews for Legends of the Fall and Look Who's Talking Now at the beginning. And um, has a 14A rating from the Canadian Home Video Rating System. This was printed on October... The, Go here. June 10th, 1998. Next one is Billy Crystal and Deborah Winger in a Castle Rock release of Columbia Pictures. Forget Paris. This is a 1995 release through Columbia TriStar Home Video, so that's what I'm showing you here. Printed on October 30th, 1995. Alright, alright, next tape. The Solid Gold Cadillac with Julie Holiday and Paul Douglas. 1955 Columbia picture. Nineteen ninety five cheap of it. Oh, actually nineteen fifty six call me a picture. Oh. Don't know why I read it wrong. Uh barcode is ripped. Uh, this was printed during the forty fourth week of nineteen ninety nine. Next one is the American President, another great film from Rob Reiner, with Michael Douglas, Annette Benning, Martin Sheen, and Michael J. Fox. Script by West Wing creator Aaron Sorkin. Uh, printed on August 21st, 1996, with Turner on the side. 
we jump on now to um, two Columbia TriStar Family Collection tapes. As a matter of fact, these are two of the only three that I have. This is the Indian in the cupboard with a free Indian cupboard and key included. Not true at all, but it does have the cupboard if you um, get this out and flip it over and then put it in the actual case. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, anyway, here's the front, spine in the back. This was co-presented by Paramount Pictures. They had the international video rights for it to it. Um, but not the international television ones. Or theatrical ones, for that matter. But it was co-presented by Paramount. This was printed during the 48th week of 1995. Next tape, Care Bears Movie 2, A New Generation. Also from the Columbia TriStar Family Collection. This is a 1996 tape. Columbia TriStar Family Team and reprint thereof. Originally printed during the 35th week of 1998, this was taped over during the 40th week of, of 2004. I did have a Sony... I still... I do still have a Sony Picture Summoner team and tape of... of, um... Dragon Tales... uh... Playing Player Makes Playing Fun. Don't know where I put it, though. I also have another Dragon Tales team, which is Believe in Yourself. Don't know where I put that one, either. Next one is... Men in Black, with Mr. Jones, Tommy Lee Jones, that is, and Mr. Smith, Will Smith, that is. Here come the Men in Black, protecting the Earth from the scum of the universe. Three times over by this point, because this had two sequels, Men in Black 2 in 2002, and Men in Black 3, three years later. No, 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 ten years later. There we go. Released in on in November of 1997, this tape came out. This was printed during the 39th week of 1997. Next, we have the only Columbia Pictures, Tri Columbia TriStar widescreen presentation VHS that I have, and it's the widescreen presentation of the professional, a Luc Besson film with John Reno, Gary Oldman, Natalie Portman, and Danny Aiello. I believe this came pre before Natalie Portman was famous. Not sure if it came before or after Natalie Portman came famous. I'll have to look again. Uh, this was released in 1997. There's the tape, printed during the 13th week of 1997. Next one is Jerry Maguire, which was nominated for Best Picture and Best Actress, uh, Best Actor Tom Cruise. Five Academy Award nominations and scored in 1996, and one of the most com preeminent tapes at any thrift store in America. The other two being Titanic and Men in Black, which I already showed. This was released on May 15, 1997, I believe. This is the Columbia House sell through copy. So it has no previews on it, much like the 1999 reprints. Also, it has no printy or week in your code, which is unusual for Columbia TriStar Home Video, don't you think? Next, we have Air Force One with Harrison Ford. 
and then 